artificial intelligence. Its growth in the last year has been rapid, and in the past few months it made some amazing leaps in creativity. It's even been able to embarrass our Congress yet again, because I don't know if you watched last month's TikTok hearing, but just listening to our representatives try to discuss algorithms, artificial intelligence, and Wi-Fi, they looked artificially intelligent. I mean, go figures, we elected a guy like this. I don't want to make this like that testimony. Let me just keep it very simple. Artificial intelligence, whether it be ChatGPT, Googlebard, the Terminator, it has power and potential. But all of that can be misused very quickly. So we have to talk about it. But in order for us to discuss AI, we first need to talk about the internet. You know, the place where everyone's supposed to go for cat photos, Twitter, and where all teenagers go to do some homework. When people say that the internet has everything, they're right, but that everything can be dangerous as well. In fact, AP News writes in February 22nd of 2023 that Section 230, a law which provides legal immunity for corporations, is essentially their guardian angel. Platforms like Google, Facebook, and Snapchat can't face any liability for what is on their website. But essentially, obscene content like gore, terrorism, and even illegal porn is allowed to stay up on these platforms at the discretion of the company. Now, while disgusting and depraved, it still circulates the web because when it gets clicks, these companies get cash and they do get a lot of views. Now, it's no secret that companies throw out morality for money. I mean, we're watching one of them get run by a literal robot. But this notion of turning popularity into profit is especially worrisome when we're thinking about artificial intelligence. Because all of these companies that are throwing away morals are the ones leading us into our AI revolution. In fact, Forbes found in February 7th of 2023 that Google, Meta, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and DeepMind are all developing their own type of AI algorithm and developing an AI product. Now, fool me once, shame on you. Now, fool me twice, um... Point is, you can't get fooled again, and we can't afford to get fooled again. Big tech's ignorance when it came to obscenities should have been our first warning. But we didn't listen then. It's important to listen now. Because if we don't, the consequences are deadly. In fact, the technology that we're looking at is so dangerous that the founder of ChatGPT, the 50 leading technology experts of our time, and Elon Musk all agree that we have to start placing some limits on the artificial intelligence we create. In fact, they're even proposing that the government shuts down AI for six months in order to create some kind of regulatory standard. Because if we don't, the consequences are deadly. They've already shown to do so. As Wired found on March 1st of 2023, unregulated AI can teach self-harm. As Decrypt found on April 12th of 2023, AI without any limits can create pornographic content that can be illegal. On top of that, Business Insider found on April 14th of 2023 that AI can teach you how to buy an unlicensed firearm and make chemical weapons. And to sum it all up, the Middlebury Institute found in September of 2020 that because AI can produce content at such a high level in so so much volume, it represents a significant advantage for online radicalization. Essentially, this technology can put people in an echo chamber and place a gun in their hands. So what do we do about it? Well, first and foremost, we have to remove protections under Section 230. By doing so, it allows companies to be held liable for what they create, and that's especially important. On top of that, our government needs more regulations. We need to ensure that AI is trustworthy, transparent, and always responsible. Because as we've seen, unchecked power in the hands of those willing to do us the most harm only hurts everyone. And while the technology may be artificial, the consequences are anything but. As we navigate the new frontier of technology, it's time that we exercise some intelligence. The future is here. My question is, are you ready?